I'm going fishing for the star of Deadliest Catch, and he's here. Russell Newberry, good to see you. Ahoy, fair maiden. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> There's like a whole theme happening in today's show. So good to see you. You're here, of course, for the International Boat Show. I am. I'm here for the boat show, so come on down and, you know, check out the anchors. <laughs> Can we talk about the life that you lead and the, the, the bravery you need to pull this off? Oh, my goodness. It would be like going into a hockey rink, standing in the middle of it with a fire hose, wow. with the whole hockey rink moving is what it would be like. So when you set sail, you are literally hundreds of miles deep into the vast expanse of ocean. It's about 300, 300 to 400 miles, yes. So if trouble should ensue. Oh, oh my goodness, you know, and it doesn't have to be rough out for it to, for something to happen on your boat. It could be flat, calm. I mean, complacency will absolutely kill you if you're, if you're not on top of your game. And if, God forbid, something happens, You've got the Coast Guard who the nearest station is 800 miles away, you know, and even on a fast helicopter, you've got, uh, got issues out there. And if you don't have your coordinates right, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. So help could be anywhere from like 12 hours to 24 hours away. Absolutely. So you have to be well trained to deal with many situations. Absolutely. We're a jack of all trades, uh, so to speak. And then, of course, when you catch something super impressive, there's no better reward or feeling. We actually have a picture. No. Talk us through, oh, oh my, my goodness. gosh, look at the scale. <laughs> 491 pounds, that big halibut was. And at that time, at that time, uh, she was worth, uh, well, for easy math, $4 a pound. So you, you know, actually, so. You, you eat that meat. Oh my goodness, that is so delicious. If you've never had a halibut, you've got to try halibut. How the heck did you reel this thing in? Well, we did it hydraulically, first of all, to start with. So you just push the button, you know, and she came to the top and went, you know, I mean, it was like a barn door. It was like, oh my goodness, of course, everybody's got dollar signs in their eyes. You know, it's like, you are coming aboard this boat, you know, because it was worth $2,000. It's the size of a whale. I had no idea they could <laughs> get that big. I really oh, didn't. absolutely. Welcome to Alaska. A whole other world <laughs> under there, huh? And I hear you have quite an impressive king crab catch story as well. Oh, my goodness. The king crab is uh, uh, so delicious. It's another thing. In fact, the very first king crab that we catch, oh my we sell, oh. but the second one we eat. The, the second one you eat. The second one we eat. The first one, you know, we got to get, get our profits going. You know what? Have you seen Blue Lobster? Because we have them now at the Ripley's Aquarium. We just opened it up, um, and I think it's one in a million or something. I have not been there, but I'm supposed to go there on Thursday, you know, to check it out. And check I'm really it out. excited about it. Anything that has to do with water or fishing or, you know, boats, uh, I, have a, I have a huge interest in. What is the coolest thing you've seen while being out there that people wouldn't, re you know, there's so much majestic beauty that happens that you oh, get Oh, my to goodness. See. And, and what, you don't, what you don't realize is uh, uh, the way the Aleutian chain goes out, it's a volcanic, uh, it's part of the Pacific Rim of Fire, and you've always got something shooting up into the sky, you know, and so there's always uh, uh, majestic rocks and lava. Is it like Life of Pi? You no. Know. Well, Did you, you see what, it with I the schools of fish? Movie. I tell you what, and we do, and the dolphins and the whales, and, you know, we can't forget about the sea life that we have out there. I mean, there's nothing cooler than watching whales breaching and seals swimming, you know, and you've seen the dolphins on the bow of the boats and stuff. It's amazing, it's pretty darn cool. which is why we have to protect yes. and take care of our oceans. Absolutely. For more information, make sure you see Russell. He's going to be at the Toronto International Boat Show. It runs until January 19th. That's the Direct Center Enrico Coliseum Exhibition Place. For more information, torontoboatshow.com. Follow him on Twitter at russellnewberry.com. There you go. Thanks, Russell. Right now, we're going to throw things over to Jen. Jen was just at the boat show.